killed the tiger. Now our master won't win the contest. Hey, it's not our fault. Those sleeve dogs started it. That doesn't matter, Donghua. Look at this mess. Gee, I guess we overreacted, huh? Yeah, I guess it's up to us to fix the lantern. I can glue this box we tore. I can color the patches and repaint his face. And I'll redo that love poem. If only I could remember those yucky words. Great, but we better hurry. The magistrate will probably be back soon. a little too much. I like it. There's no time to do it any better. Your Magistrate, I can't wait to see oh! your prize-winning lantern. It is a best quality lantern, if I do say so myself. <gasps> oh! Uh, sire, what a... Um, what a creation. What happened to my beautiful lantern? I can't show my <gasps> face at the festival with this catastrophe as my entry. I'll be the laughing stock of the entire province. But your excellency, commander of all he surveys, this is no time for modesty. The people are expecting your entry. They don't like it. What can we do so the magistrate wins best lantern? Think positive. Great idea. You say that this is the magistrate's entry? Why, yes, it is. Well, I'm absolutely speechless. Is it modern art? Uh, well, I think it must be. What a stroke of genius. What's on the scroll? It's a poem. It looks as if it's a love poem to the wife of the magistrate. Oh, it's written in the most beautiful calligraphy, but it's in the old style. Such beautiful writing, but I can't make out more than a word here and there. Hmm, there's wife, there's lotus flower, and uh, there's love. Other than that, I can't read the old style characters. Oh, but it's so beautiful to look at. And to think of paying tribute to her with the ancient style. Oh, what an ingenious concept. My dear, I had no idea you were such a forward-thinking Renaissance man. Well, my delicate daikon, there are many things you don't know about me. Well, your worthiness, there's nothing wrong with second prize. Why, it's a very good prize. Don't worry, Your Excellency. With all these tiger lanterns, it was a relief to find one that didn't actually oh, look like a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Such a progressive design. And your impeccable creativeness. There's always next year. It was a beautiful lantern. We all worked so hard to put it back together. It's funny. The judges liked the lantern just the way it was. They liked the way we fixed it. At least we know we did our best. And those judges are right. Second place is good, too. Mm -hmm. And Dongwa's love poem was so pretty. Yeah, and just how did you pull that off? Well, Papa gave me a lesson in old-style calligraphy last week. When I couldn't remember the words of the poem, I decided to use the ancient style. I was hoping the judges wouldn't be able to actually read it. You know what? Maybe next year we should enter the Lantern Festival. <laughs> <laughs>
It's a lovely lantern, my dear. Lovely and different. If I didn't know better, I'd think that poem was in your tale writing style, Dongwa. Oh, it's a long story, Baba. You see, first the sleeve dogs made a mess of your lantern, and we tried fixing. <sighs> Maybe you should tell us tomorrow. Something tells me it's an interesting story, with a very happy ending. And to think. Think you wrote a beautiful love poem to me, and in that beautiful old style calligraphy, I didn't even know that you knew the old style. Well, my precious Peach, as I said, I have many talents you don't know about. <laughs>